Hi everybody, good afternoon. I'm continuing doing video for Cybersecurity 101. I'm trying to do the small ones now until I'm leaving the other one for the weekend. So I'm following the, the Discord only if I find issue I try to make a video. I'm doing this quick, especially some people they have confused in, in uh, not this one. Uh, where is that part where they get the flag or something? Uh, not this one. Um, I think, yeah, one of the, I think, pot scanning, uh, some people have asked, uh, the, the flag, this one. Let's move uh, quickly on it, so basically and map, you always use it. Uh, um, okay, so we have uh, ping, up scan, uh, all this tenant protocol for discovery, but Learning objective course you how to use nmap for cover for network uh, scanning. We always use it whenever you have a CTF room or something, that's how you start. Okay, you have the IP range with that. Most of the time, use the let's uh, practice directly. So, usually, nmap you have the IP like the IP that we have now. Let's send 186.250. And then let's play with uh, what we have. So usually uh, nmap minus n sync. So that's minus sn. Why is not uh, minus sn sync? What do you call it? Uh, sn um, pink scan. Host is up. Uh, this is just pink scan minus sn. Uh, why it doesn't? Uh, oh no! Uh, let's scan. Why not? Let's practice. If it's in twenty-four. Uh, okay, so we have. Uh, if you want to scan the network, and then uh, usually you do this when you uh, like. If you are in CTF and you get the first, um, you get initial access. Sometimes it's good to have, uh, but sometimes you don't have end map. You need to go and start and all of that. So you need to have uh, too many tools for you. Uh, one thing is uh, what we have also here. Uh, this is uh, the scan for the network 24 pro, uh, subnet, so that's fine. Uh, and map auto show. Okay, so this one you have, it would be good if you have a white shark. Okay, it's live and respond to SP ping. So, like we have there, we got this one is up. Uh, 244 so it's fine it's worth noticing that we can more control how I'm up discover uh, such as okay port list you don't need too much this fancy stuff for a moment when you start in this is just to give you an idea what you uh, s list because it tell you what um, this only list the target to scan without actually scanning them so if I say minus s we need one question it tell you which one is going to scan because I told him the whole broadcast to uh, 255 so he uh, has a whole of them and then uh, which one let's see what exactly we have here what is the last IP address to scan this ad IP so let's minus SL 27 network mask it's 192 well, okay let's go I think it's 192 one six eight dot zero dot one minus I said with with list without scanning. He said what was the l the last IP? Okay, the last IP should be this one. So it uh, no one nine two. Oh, sorry, the the dots. Uh, dot look if if I was in 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 CTF basically where is that IP that we have now is the machine uh, oh I forgot I did wrong you're not supposed to put 250 they put to zero uh, you're supposed to put zero here for network at any case that's uh, if I was in CTF I would just do this I will do minus s sc minus s S V and 
and sometimes you do minus p to scan all the uh, Okay, let's let's let, let it run. Uh, I will show you something. We done this. I'm a bit confused now this afternoon. What's not put scanning? Who is listening? Uh, you've kid doing the mass minus s n to discover live hosts. Uh, okay, this one yeah. Should, to give you all the information, what's running that port? You can see we have TCP echo, TCP wrapper, daytime setting. This is not really interesting for us. We have this 22. Always interesting. Then we have eight zero zero eight. So we got another one. Another one fast. Usually now becoming better than nmap. You still need nmap for certain things. Is um, we call it rust rust scan rust scan minus a. This one is faster. It can give you a quick uh, idea what's running. So this one you can see it. Uh, and then when you have an interesting port, then you come back and you say, uh, you go to our friend nmap and you say, okay, so I got now a quicker fast, can you tell me more about S, SC minus SV, get me the port, for example, 1008, what is it? In any case, you can play around it, so connect scan ST, uh, the connection can be triggered by using ST. Try to complete TCP three-way handshake with the target port. These things, it is good to understand it, but don't spend too much on it because I said it's a basic. This path is uh, usually entry level, so it's good to have information. Don't try to memorize it and all of that. So these things is uh, uh, what's this? It can be triggered using ST. Okay, the IP is not the IP of machine, so the, it's more like you follow here. Um, stealth scan if you have a firewall SS. Um, I like the other connection with tray. We connect the target TCP port. Uh, this one uh, usually SS, CSV, SS if you go to it, stealth. So in in the screenshot, the port when you open the path market with one show the listening service reply with TCP knowledge packet. However, and map respond with TCP reset. So basically, still don't finish the handshake. So basically, just if you know it's live, just stop. So it cancel it. So instead of finishing the handshake, of course UDP with SU. It's UDP if you usually don't do this is only for specific CTF forum scanning like advanced scan or things like that so that's why it is basic it's good to know about them but uh, don't uh, for example I most of the time I never use them so for rooms like easy to medium you're not really using them limiting target port of course minus F is the fast mode for the first I think for first thousand the P is the range minus P. Usually, yeah. If you are in CTF, usually you add, uh, you do this. So, you, so you basically, uh, to to scan all the port, and also it's good to have minus T four or five or something thread. Uh, ST TCP connection SS SU UDP minus F minus P. How many port I open a tag system? Uh, oh, how many open Port. So if we do the uh, this play with the, the same as the room, so we can just say okay minus st, but we can add my uh, my p to get the whole parts if you want. So uh, how many ports are open? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Let's see if it accepts answer six. Yeah, we got this. So we have this. So here you need uh, you can ST because you just need to know, but you don't want to detail for each one of them. Then find the listing web server in. Uh, he said find web server. Of course, now as we did now, we can go. Um, the f the first you can see it's an HTTP. So as I said, you can you you can get information from this SSC minus S. V and call M up to investigate me this 8008. What is exactly happening there? And also, you can say, Okay, I know it's a server, so what we can do is 
we said okay we have an, uh, an HTTP server like this so we can go okay let me copy let me go to my Firefox I know it's in uh, 808 and it tell you the flag is here so we already have the flag or you can do this uh, you can say uh, curl HTTP uh, the, the IP is 10, 10 what's the IP again 186.250.186.250 and then we have 8.8 .8. you can call call or oh, new read text here if but you know for example uh, the flag start with THM you can just say okay grab me minus I THM uh, flag and then we can get it straight here so you can you can do this or you come to your web server here and, uh, and and get it so so that's that now uh, the next thing is uh, ss minus ss sv sc sv uh, ss what you do ss is stealth but also a minus o you can add minus o so let's test it to uh, with that not sv i don't need verbus so we can remove this let's do stat stand give me the version what version operating system is there usually yeah sometimes yeah it's good to have that uh, service and version detection using sssv for verbus uh, enable version det oh, version detection I'm confused okay what we have here fingerprinting it's uh, a was much a host did he detect it mm. 88 and HTTP and no one why well, couldn't find it did you find it here kernel oh, OS CPU net what would what is this Ch I don't see what uh, I couldn't find it. No exact match. Why this one he was able to find Mac? Okay, that's maybe on it. Uh, the version detection is minus s. We can play with minus ss minus s um, sv. Check each port and get a verse, and then we have minus OS, the OS detection SV service and minus A OS detection version. Det you can just put minus A scan host that appear to be done. Usually, when you start doing uh, CTF, you just have one command, you remember it and it, it work for you. What is the name and detected version of the web server? Let's wait. We already detected before, but let's um, wait for our friend and Matt to decide for us. Hello and map quicker because we're doing stealth. Hey. Yeah, because in real life, if there's a firewall, you need to play with this thing. So, hello, 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 quicker, quicker. Let's see, uh, we found it somewhere before. Uh, let's see. HTTP server light because when you do this it's faster but SC for let's see how fast oh, it's coming now I oh, know it's not still coming let's wait for it but we have it it's there what what is the name and detected version of the web server what's the, the answer format Yeah, that's my answer is correct. Why? There's a space. There's no space. Let's still say wrong. Huh. Yeah, dot dot to oh the the bracket. Why is taking long to to catch it? Okay. What we have now here? Uh, how fast? Oh, the first things you do uh, minus t. 
usually minus t4 or something you know t2 polite t3 through 4 aggressive if you do stf it doesn't mind because you're not firewall there's no firewall so you can just do aggressive uh, t0 is uh, paranoid is like very slow so usually you just aggress oh you found it now I got now the service and for West Linux CPU so we got uh, now a Linux version when you do a um, sync scan and when you give you the light TV oh that's we see 141740 we don't slash in there so it's fine we have the SSH this and the rest are not interested of it so it's fine this is just for speed and it, uh, usually you my, uh, I never saw someone do these things use them in um, in CTFs you don't need this but it's good to know that's the whole point of this introduction is better to know the T4 for example is aggressive uh, no, no no it's not aggressive uh, uh, what it said uh, the equivalence is minus T aggressive so that's that and, and then, then uh, what, what do you have there? Controlling what, what you see, see verbus. The verbus is um, the minus v, and the minus v character that is, it's always the verbus minus v. So it's not like uh, v. minus v is always you add minus v, double v, four v if you want too much information. Saving scan OS is minus o. Normal output XML. Yeah, usually sometimes you save it. Yeah, if you want to save it later on to check, that's fine. Uh, what uh, uh, yeah you save it to gateway what option must we add to your map to comment to enable debugging 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 it's a D so where we saw it if all verbos it does not satisfy your need you must consider minus so debugging to output so these things it's, it's good to know about them but don't don't um, um, push yourself to the limit to remember all of this it's good sometimes you know things so when you hear a room and this firewall you can come to your notes here and say oh, okay how can I do stealth scan or how to do that so it's good to take notes for example you take notes I said okay as I said sometimes you mm, always detection yeah sometimes not necessary always it's more important to know the version because if you are in CTF for example now if I'm, I'm opening CTF this information is very important because that you go google this and see if there is a problem with this version if there is security risk about it uh, the next one is conclusion and summary in this room of course uh, of course nmap need to run as root uh, if it is worth noting that it's best to run uh, because it's network you know without network it's, it's always a root need to be involved lists can yeah this one guys is better to have like save it somewhere in your uh, uh, like a CDN note or something so you can have all this information okay I uh, hope this what's the what what's it what kind of scan will nmap use if you run uh, with local user privilege uh, yeah this one it, uh, it's um, s s uh, not ss uh, you, you use the the connect scan uh, what what what's going on here hello my computer froze However, you should expect Minifield to be anywhere, you get a minimum portion per NMAP power when running local user. For instance, NMAP will automatically use a scene scan, that uh, connect scan if you are running. So just uh, this, well, I'm, I'm having a problem with my computer, it's freezing. Let's finish this room quickly. I don't know why uh, Firefox is dying. Let's type the answer quickly before connect scan. Okay, guys, I make this video quicker so everybody can, if it's stuck in the things, I saw people in Discord have an issue with it. Uh, yeah, you can just um, check. Uh, yeah, it help you later on in the future. You don't need to memorize all these things now, but it's good to know about them. Thank you very much and have a good day.